What's up guys? Thanks for tuning in to Five Day Startup. I'm Scott. You can find me at FoundScott on Instagram. I appreciate a follow. I do respond to all my DMs there personally. First off, I want to thank you guys. Today we hit a thousand followers on YouTube and we actually just relaunched the fivedaystartup.com with all new packages for Amazon sales. So if you have any questions, head over there, shoot me a DM or email. So I'm gonna pull up a screen share right now and just kind of show you real quick. Pretty excited, we did some cool things with here. I developed a website myself, it's one of my better ones. So I'm just gonna go over to our services page and then you can see the services we offer. So we got financial analysis, product development, listing optimization, product launches, Amazon PPC, and off Amazon marketing. So guys, I'm actually really excited about the off Amazon marketing as well. So some of the things we offer is influencer marketing. We've been doing that for years. That's what our company was actually built on. And we've kind of transitioned that, but we still have some of those cool features in there. We have sales funnel creation, messenger, text, and email. So what that is, we actually build bots around messenger and email and text messages. So we have some really cool features we can do to help you grow your business. Let me tell you that Messenger has a much higher open rate than email and so does text message. So we've integrated all of that into one funnel. We also have website development and things like that, guys. So we're ready to help you. But anyways, let's go ahead and get started. We're still in the product research phase. I'm gonna wrap the product research phase up with this video. Product research is one of those really hard things to do and there's no right way to do product research. So we talked about the importance of differentiating your product and having top quality. Guys, if you have top quality and your product's different, you have the ingredients to win. That's what you need. And then from there, you just need help growing and scaling your business. So again, focus on high quality products and something that meets the market. One tool we haven't talked about is Blackbox. Blackbox is a cool, research tool by Helium 10. Guys, there's an affiliate link down below. Oh, also, there is now a free Amazon 101 course on the website, so go ahead and sign up. You can actually see one of our messenger bots in there. So on the website, it'll pop up, it'll be in the little corner, it'll ask you some questions. Uh, it does ask for your email, but guys, trust me, it's awesome. Got some great links for you in there. So here we go, we have Blackbox up on Helium 10. So Blackbox is basically a research tool for you. So you can search by different keywords, categories, and filters. So let's go by categories. So let's say you're looking for a product in, I like sports. Sports is very competitive, but I do like sports. Let's see, monthly revenue. Let's say you're a new seller and anything above 10,000 might be a little hard to compete on. So let's go max at, let's do 15,000. All right, and minimum. I uh, don't wanna waste your time, so let's avoid anything under 2,000. Price, again, as a new seller, you probably can't afford to go on very expensive products, but I don't like putting a max too low on here. I prefer to sell high-end products, uh, more expensive, and they're actually sometimes not as expensive to manufacturers as you think, they're just unique and maybe difficult. Just to put at 200, and a minimum. I also stay away from things under $18. I try to get all my products to be above 25. A lot of times I'll launch below that and then move it up. 25 is a pretty good spot. Anywhere from 15 to 200, you can get pretty quick orders. Past 200, people's buying decisions change and they have to look at things differently and they'll actually need more research. They might want to call you, things like that. Our review count. The more I'm getting into this, I've determined that reviews matter a lot, but they're not super important. I mean, they matter for you to sell. Competition, like you can fight any any number of reviews by making a better and different product. So let's say we don't want to go over 200 and I'm not gonna put a minimum on reviews because I'd prefer they had no reviews. Review rating. So this is where it gets interesting because you can look for products with weaknesses to improve upon. So let's look at products that have a max of three. And we might not get anything with this, we might have to filter again. So we can do small, large standard, small oversize. Let's do small oversize. That gets a little bit more complicated. And then there's some advanced features here. So sales year over year. So this is percent growth here. So let's do something that has at least a 25%, at least a 20% and no max. Price change, we're not worried about. Sales change. And so guys, this is how the tool is very powerful. You can actually dive down and search by analytics and find products that kind of meet your formula. I never recommend going off of formulas. I recommend kind of finding something you're interested in and people are gonna be interested in, but a lot of people do this or it's a good idea to get ideas started and then you kind of go down the other paths of things we've showed before. So here you can pick a season. So if you're looking for something seasonal, like if it's October, it's Halloween. So let's say it's the beginning of the year or it's July and you want to get something in for Halloween. So that's when you start doing that research. Sales to review. So this is an interesting one. It's how quickly something's getting reviews or how quickly they're growing. So if 
something's getting a lot of reviews very quickly, it might be hard to compete because either they just have crazy sales or they're manipulating the numbers, things like that. So that's an interesting one. I don't use it too often, but it is actually a pretty cool tool. Monthly sales, let's do a max of a thousand units. It would be hard to compete over a thousand units. As a starter seller, I just need a lot of inventory. Because if you're buying from China, you need two to three months of inventory, probably three, unless you're air shipping. So you have to order 3000 units, which could be expensive. I'll move that up to 1500. The seller rank, I'm not gonna worry about. Number of sellers. I don't like to look at things with a lot of sellers. I'm gonna leave that at two. I, I prefer one. So here's a really cool one. So you can look for people that are only doing fulfilled by merchant. So that means that the merchant is shipping things out. So that means they're not on Amazon Prime. And that's a huge advantage. If they're not on Amazon Prime, you're just adding value by putting it on Amazon Prime. So we're gonna select that one. Number of images. So here's actually my favorite part of this tool. It's number of images. If you find a good selling product with only two or three images, you can beat them out of marketing just by adding more images. It's pretty powerful and really cool. I don't know if it's gonna show up with any results for us because we're getting pretty crazy here. Variation counts. The reason why they have this is basically, again, as a new product, if you're selling like apparel and they have 50 variations, like it's a camelback with 50 variations, it'd be again hard to compete because you're competing on color and size and they just have everything out there already and you need a whole bunch of SKUs or it gets complicated, things like that. So I personally don't like to do more than five SKUs, it just adds complication. I've actually had inventory shipped to Amazon and then it all gets mixed in. And so blue was shipping out when green was supposed to be shipped. And we'll cover that later and how to fix that issue. But it was terrible and it cost me a lot of money to fix. Uh, weight, let's keep it under 10 pounds. A lot of people will say four for air shipping, but even at four pounds, I still use freight. So then you can go by specific keywords in the title and exclude keywords. So let's search and see what we get. So this is pretty cool. So price, it's 100 bucks. Uh, monthly sales is 40. They're making about $3,000 a month. That's their sales ranking. I wouldn't worry about that too much. And then here's the reviews. So the cool thing about having the battery views is you know that people are buying it and they don't like what they're buying. So you can go ahead and click on here. I'm not even sure what this is. I guess it's some kind of gun thing. So we're gonna look at the overall trends here. Let's look at the last 30 days. It's actually been doing worse, which could be because of its review count. You can see it was doing pretty well over here. So maybe it's not season, but there's consistent demand over the long term. You can see it over here. Let's go ahead and open X-ray. So that means you could actually be making more money for revenue. So this is interesting. It's different than what they told us before. I don't like seeing that. So there's different tools out there that you can use to help verify and you can look at other things in the market and look at the BSR. I would assume that black box is right, but again, that's a red flag for me to try to figure out and do some of my own calculations. And then I just want to look at uh, reviews. We've got 33 reviews, three stars. So this blue line here is the number of reviews and the green line is what star rating. So you can see it's been at a three star for a long time. It's actually never really been above. So this would be a pretty easy product to knock off. It doesn't have the sales that we'd like to see. I think X-ray is wrong on this one. There's just too much data here, unless it's just the recent time period. But anyways, that's the product. There's product description. What is that? They do have a video. I don't know if they posted that or not. We can show you guys how to post videos. So here you go. If I was gonna go into this product, I would look at all the negative reviews and figure out a way to fix this. So that's how powerful the tool is. Let's keep looking and see what else we got here. I personally stay away from apparel. It's just not what I'm into. So that's it. Based off of our filter, we didn't get a lot of data because we put in a whole bunch of filters there. So let's see if we can remove some filters and find a better product. So I like the number of images at three. I'm gonna do all fulfillments, monthly sales. Let's put a minimum at 10, 100. What else do we got? Number of sellers, we can make that five. Weight, I'll remove that just for now. Variations, I'll remove that. Number of images, let's make that five. Just get rid of that. Monthly revenue, move that up to a 4.3. So the thing is, at 4.3, 4.2, it drops to four stars instead of having the four and a half. And so that's actually where conversions drop. So that's still an opportunity for you. So let's see what we got here. Can we filter by... Monthly revenue, we can. There we go, so cool sweater, it's branded, we're not going to that. A lot of gun things. This one makes $14,000, that's a decent amount of money. It's got 4.2, so you can see that's what I was talking about. So here's an interesting thing. Sales trends over the 90 days, huge increase. So let's check this product out. Again, one photo, 
riflery equipment, not something I'd go into, but it's interesting. The reviews, one review, very easy to compete with that. One photo, let's look at the trends. So it looks like they just got an FBA. This means they were selling for a while, but just not an FBA. Price is very consistent. All right, so this is an interesting product. All right, guys, so here's another one that I like. Backpacks are pretty cool. This is a branded one, so you couldn't compare this to anything you could do just because of the brand. But backpacks are very oversold, but also very easy to do well in because the marketing around it, you can make them very unique, uh, customizable pockets, things like that. People love good backpacks. And you can see this has one photo. Helium 10 has a tool built in on its Chrome plugin that actually reviews the listing quality. So you can see right here, it shows a 3.8. So basically it shows you why it's 3.8. It's missing photos, reviews, things like that. So this is a terrible listing, but we talked about all the variations here. Not something I'd go into just because it's branded. Backpacks take a lot of marketing to succeed, but it's a cool product. So let's go ahead and do a little bit more searching before we wrap this up. Uh, let's try different category. Let's do health and household. And then let's take off the maximum revenue and let's put that at four. So a lot of people, especially the, the gurus out there will say, don't go into supplements. I've built several supplement businesses. I love them. It's all about branding and having the right backing and a good quality product. If you can master that, you're awesome. So here's this one. It's got four stars, 132 reviews, and it's doing $135,000. It's priced at $119. What the heck is this? Guys, yeah, so this is a product that excites me. This is something that I'd have to look in the market, look at what's going on, but I would go into this. So are the reviews different? 4.2. So you can see it shows a little bit different. So 4.3, just slightly off. So I have no idea why this is $119. To me, this is a very interesting product. I'd be interested to see what the competition is out there and why it's so expensive. You can see things like this is a stock out for them because there's no price. The price is consistent over time. That's what X-Ray says. Yep. So again, this is something I'd be interested in looking deeper into. I would do the keyword research that we did in the past. I would do Google Trends. I'd find out why it's so expensive. Is it a custom formulation? Is there a doctor backing it? Things like that. For your first products, maybe don't go into supplements. But if you do decide to, I, I just really think this is an interesting one. Amazon seller or Amazon best choice for this. So it has to do with something with the branding probably. I doubt that the ingredients are worth that price. They just set this luxury price for their customers and that's what people want. And again, if you have good branding, if you have doctors backing it, you can charge whatever you want on any product, even a bat. You build a really cool bat, you have a professional athlete back it, it's the best bat in the world. People hit more home runs with that bat, then you're gonna be able to charge a lot more than anyone else. So there's some in here that are expensive, it's the same brand, I think. And then if you look at the review, let's see what we got going on here. 300, so this one has 12,000. I don't know how they did that, but that's pretty cool. So I wouldn't go into fish oils or omega threes. It's just a good example of what you can find. I mean, that's still a bad listing and they're making decent money. So you can find a lot of ideas for this tool. So you can also download all these results if you're more interested in using filters in Excel or anything like that. I'm a big filter building pivot tables, kind of really analyze it. I've even had VAs in the past go through mounds and mounds of data for me and then kind of compile uh, off of a certain algorithm. We'll basically scrape as much Amazon information we can and put a whole bunch of filters in and then end up with a couple of products. But that's basically what Blackbox does for you built in. So it's, it's really cool. You can pin this to your list. I'm not going to get into that, but your list is over there. So there's a couple more tools in here. So you can use the same thing by keyword. So I'm gonna do water bottles. We did examples of water bottles in the past. I'm gonna do monthly revenue. Let's go big. Let's do no max and let's do at least 20,000. Let's go ahead and keep it small. Let's go price over $20. Not a lot of water bottles will be there, but review count, let's do under 200. All right, so let's see what we get for that one. So guys, this is just a great tool to play around with and get ideas, filter and see where other people have weaknesses, where opportunities are. This is actually going over averages for the keywords. Basically, you set specific averages for that keyword and then it'll search. This is a really powerful keyword search tool. So you can kind of filter your criteria and then find keywords that you can be successful in. So if you want to rank to the top, you can see how hard it is to rank for the top of that keyword. So let's see if there's anything in here that's interesting. And you can just view it on Amazon here. Here you go, guys. I think it's a great opportunity. This keyword does pretty well on sales. It looks like reviews are not a thing. Products are easy to 
fit in here. So here's a keyword that I could go fight and try to sell. This might be a brand. All right, so we're just gonna go through the rest of the tools really quickly. So this one, you would use the same thing to kind of validate the competition of a specific product. And the next one is basically the same thing again, but about the specific niche or phrase. The last one is showing kind of accessories and things that would go with that product. So if you have a really, I think we talked about refrigerators and water filters earlier. So if you wanna have a water filter that competes, you can kind of search the filter or the refrigerator and find out what accessories people are buying. A lot of money is accessories, but people don't spend a lot of thought in buying it. If it, it's right for your product, they'll just go ahead and buy it. That wraps up product research for us. Again, there's so much to do. If you head over to the website and you sign up for the free class, there's actually some resources in there that have been covered about product research. I'll link some in the description, but I'm probably just gonna link to the free class. Guys, go ahead and sign up. It's completely free. So thanks so much for tuning in. That kind of wraps up our product research. We do have this product research cheat sheet in our FBA class. You can go ahead and sign up for that. The link will be in the description. It's gonna take you through Facebook Messenger. So you guys have to have Facebook Messenger to get the class. Here's some things that we covered and we reviewed Helium 10 a whole bunch. That was kind of the, the surrounding of the whole product research class. It's a tool that I use every single day as a seller and as a product researcher and as a consultant. Seller Lab Scope is a similar product to Helium 10 and there's also Viral Launch. They give you similar data. So if you're getting into this more and more and you want to confirm your data, it's a great way to have multiple tools. Uh, we definitely covered Google Analytics and Keyword Planner as well as Google Trends. These are awesome guys. You have to be using multiple tools to validate. You can't rely on just one tool. Uh, you're not gonna get accurate information. And it's also important to make sure that people aren't just searching on Amazon, but there's actual demand on Google searches for your product to make sure that people are really interested in it. And it's just not like a convenience purchase. Jungle Scout is kind of an older tool. I don't really trust their data. I never use them, but if you're interested, they have a lot of similar features. You can go ahead and check it out. I believe they have a free package or a free trial. Etsy is a great tool. I don't think we went over there. A lot of people put like custom products on Etsy's, so you can go in there and play around and look for products, search for best sellers, things like that, and get good ideas and even source directly from there or find a product you like and then have it made. Pinterest, I believe we covered, but again, this is where you're gonna get more artsy idea, the custom tailored, the things that are currently trending, and you can usually have them custom made. There's things like in the EDM world, certain apparel that people are hand making at first and then businesses pick them up and sell them at a pretty good profit. Instagram, again, just see what's trending, see what's cool, see what people are taking photos with, what are people using. In the tool, there's a Shopify bestseller rank. So if you're looking at a Shopify website, you can actually, they don't have the option. You can actually just click and see what they're selling best of. So if you're really interested in a brand and you wanna kind of mimic what they're doing, find out what they're selling best of and then go sell it on Amazon, especially if they're not selling on Amazon, it's a great tool. Kickstarter we covered. Groupon, it would be a similar process as Kickstarter to see if you can get some new ideas. Terapeak, I don't think we covered, and guys, that's an awesome tool. Terapeak is Helium 10 for eBay. So my one of my first products that allowed me to quit my job was found on Terapeak. eBay has since bought it and kind of pulled some of the features away, but it's still a very powerful tool. It works very similar, so if you guys understand Blackbox and Helium 10, It'll be a quick transition. And if you guys want, go ahead and ask and I'll, I'll create a video just for therapy. Uh, life blog hacks we covered. Create Joy is monthly box service. So they have a lot of cool monthly boxes and you can find out what's selling well way before it even sells, before it ships, and you can start selling those things on Amazon. Guys, we talked about ways to differentiate. I'm not gonna go through that list. And then we just covered things to search. And that's it guys. So thanks so much. I really appreciate it. Again, this list is free. Just sign up for the class. There'll be a link right as, as soon as you sign up. It's right on the landing page. Appreciate everyone's time. Thanks and have a great day. Until next time. Thanks so much for watching my video, guys. Really appreciate it. Please make sure to subscribe. Should be right down there or there. Uh, watch my next video and my playlist right there for me and Moses. Thanks so much. Have a great day.